You don't like to see this. And you especially don't like to see this happening to a young guy who is as great as a teammate, person, and as great as a player as he is. But I'm going to ask you a question here. A real deal serious question, and please, let me know your thoughts on this down below. Is Bryce Young cooked? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to talk about Bryce Young, and it feels like we haven't talked about this dude since about week one or week two of the NFL season. And come to think about it, I think the reason it does feel that way is because, yeah, we haven't talked about him since then. It's been a hot minute, and we're also going to talk a little bit about CJ Stroud in this video as well, comparing the two guys, and that's a little foreshadowing, so stay tuned for that. But the focal point is most definitely Bryce Young in the terrible, and I mean the absolute atrocious, terrible, awful, whatever you want to call it, situation that he's currently in. There's no way to sure cut this situation for Bryce Young. You don't like to see this, and you especially don't like to see this happening to a young guy who is as great as a teammate, person, and as great as a player as he is. It's extremely sad and unfortunate this is happening to him, but it's the reality, and sometimes life isn't fair. If you don't know what I'm talking about, well, don't worry. We're going to talk all about it in today's video, and we're not doing no intro, none of that. We're getting straight into this. I don't got time to waste. You don't got time to waste either. It's relatively simple. If you like content like this, consider joining our amazing community. We'd love to have you here. If you don't want to join, that's cool too. But let me give you some context to our situation for those of you that aren't too familiar with what's going on and what's been going on. He doesn't need an introduction, but if you don't know who he is in his history, let me run you through real briefly here. He was the man in middle school, the man in high school, five-star recruit. He goes to Alabama. He was a star player, one of the best quarterbacks Alabama has ever had. And oh yeah, can't forget to mention throw in there. He won the Heisman Trophy. All you need to know is growing up, up until the NFL, he was always the man, and he always played on really good football teams. This isn't one of your underdog stories. No, 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 no. He was never underdog, so let's get that straight. Bryce Young was always the so-called, I guess you'd say, quote-unquote, chosen one. He's always been highly regarded his entire life, and long story short here, he balls out at Alabama, and he is selected with the number one overall pick by the Carolina Panthers. And at the time of this selection, many months ago, I and many others thought it was great. Because I remember leading up to the draft and talking about it right after the draft. Everybody thought the worst team in the worst situation was most definitely the Houston Texans. All these analysts, including myself, thought that, dang, C.J. Stroud, he got the bad end of the stick on this one. Or that's not how that saying goes. What is it? Yeah, the short end of the stick. My apologies. The Texans were the team that nobody wanted to go to. The Texans were supposed to be the organization that was terrible. And of course, hindsight's 2020. but looking back on it, whew. We couldn't have been any more wrong. Come to find out, the Carolina Panthers were what we thought the Houston Texans were going to be. And I think you could argue and say it's much worse because it is pitiful, pathetic, and embarrassing, but we'll get to that in just a second. Let's give some credit, though, to the Texans and CJ Stroud. They've balled down and they've shocked a lot of people. But we're not here to talk about them and focus on them too much. We're here to talk about the Panthers. As when I'm speaking, they do have one game left and they'll probably lose that one. But for now, at least, the Panthers are a miserable 2-14. and Let's address the elephant in the room here and get it out the way right now. The Panthers suck. And it's not just like they're missing a couple of pieces and they're losing heartbreaking games. No, 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 no. From top to bottom, they suck. They are missing so many pieces and they need so much crap to be done in them. It's not even funny. This isn't like, oh, you just need a couple guys in the draft. Oh, you need a new head coach. No, you need a bunch of different things. And this is a two to three year rebuild. And they're trying to fix it. I'll give them some credit there, but this isn't going to be something they turn around next year. It's going to take a while, at least in my humble opinion. And unfortunately, Bryce Young has been the beneficiary of this terrible offense, and more importantly, this atrocious and awful offensive line. A couple weeks ago, there was a play against the Saints, and when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I gotta make a video on this. It was a play action, and as soon as Bryce Young fakes the handoff, you look up and there's six Saint defenders in the backfield. And the craziest part about it was Bryce Young avoided a couple of them and still got mauled. It was bad, man. And I was like, yeah, that sums up this season completely. And they need to get Bryce Young out of there. And I started thinking to myself after that play, you know what? The Panthers, they're not making the playoffs. They should just shut down Bryce Young. Why put him out there and continue to risk an injury in a season that doesn't matter? And I know you want your young star quarterback to develop and get some practice and meaningful reps out there, but... I don't know if it's worth the risk. It has almost gotten to the point where I'm starting to think it is dangerous for Bryce Young to even go out there. And it also doesn't help that Bryce Young is such a small guy. He's only about five foot nine and a half, five foot ten. He's not just a small guy for NFL standards. He's a small guy in general compared to people like me and you. And he's been injured multiple times this year due to the offensive line not being able to hold up. And here's a fun fact for you. He has been pressured on 10% of all of his snaps. 10%. And here's the other thing about it. Even when they hold up a little bit that offensive line, 
he still doesn't have time to pass. And let's just say there's a rare occasion where he does have time to pass. Well, who's he throwing the ball to? Nobody. He has no weapon, no help. It really is a sad situation, and it's hard to watch. And you have all these casuals out here going, oh, well, I guess Bryce Young was overhyped. I guess he ain't that good. If he was really good, he'd go out there and ball out like C.J. Stroud. Listen up, buddy. Take nothing away from C.J. Stroud. I've praised him even before he got to the Texans, but... This is just a bad situation, and it's different. If you flip-flop C.J. Stroud and Bryce Young right now, I think it'd be the same thing. Bryce Young would be balling out for the Texans, and C.J. Stroud would be having a rough time with the Panthers. A lot of people fail to realize your success in the NFL, 90% of it is based off of what team you go to. Depending on what team you go to, let's say you go to a great organization, well, it's going to be good for your career and you're going to benefit from it just like, oh, I don't know, Brock Purdy. On the flip side, if you go to the Jets, we know what happens there. That's where quarterbacks go to die. It's not complicated. You see it in the NFL and you see it in the NBA. Do you think it's a coincidence that all these no-name undrafted rookies are star players for the Heat? No, they develop players great. They have a great organization and franchise. On the flip side, do you think it's a coincidence that all these top players go to the Magic and the Magic have sucked for the past 10 years? No, it's not all dependent upon, but I'd say 90%, if not 95% of your success is solely dependent on what team picks you up. And unfortunately for Bryce Young, he's not just on a bad football team, but he's on a bad franchise and a bad organization. And I know the season's over, but going ahead here... It's not looking too much better either. Why would I believe, even as good as Bryce Young is, as much as I believe in him, that he's going to turn around this terrible franchise in the next three or four years? I'll tell you right now, I don't believe it. It's not going to happen, man. It won't. And I don't know what he's going to do because he can't do anything about it. He's just going to have to play to the best ability and hope that something changes. Let's take a look at some of his numbers, though. On this season, he has 2,783 passing yards, which ranks 20th in the league. That's okay. Only has 11 touchdowns and 10 interceptions and... Eh, not bad, not good. He's a rookie quarterback, and most of your rookies throw about 9 to 15 interceptions in their first year. And last but not least, if you were to point to something and say, yeah, he needs to clean that up and it's not good, his QBR ranks 29th in the league at 33.4. Not good at all. And I hate to sound like a broken record player here, but these numbers are not a reflection of Bryce Young. They are a reflection of his team. Granted, let me make this clear. Let me make it astronomically clear. I'm not saying he would have had a prime Tom Brady season if he was playing on a better team. I'm not saying that whatsoever. What I'm saying is, and the point I'm trying to get across here, is this team hasn't helped them out. They haven't helped out their rookie quarterback, and you're supposed to do that. You ever heard the term and phrase, leaving someone out to dry? This is it right here. This is the best example. No offensive line and no weapons. What's he supposed to do? I do want to bring this up, though. On the 24th, the day before Christmas, he put the entire world on notice against Green Bay. This was by far his best game of the year. They did lose, unfortunately, but he played awesome. They lost 33-30, but Bryce Young was 23 for 36, 300 passing yards with two touchdowns and zero INTs. But it's not the stats you need to get worked up about and pay attention to. It's how he played in the game. He passed the eye test. He led Carolina on some drives where you could point to and say, oh yeah, that's our franchise quarterback. This guy, he's going to be legit if we surround him with weapons. It's the NFL, man. Man, it's not high school, it's not middle school, it's not JV, it's not college. He can't do it by himself. He needs help. Will the Panthers help him out? Heck, if I know, if I had a guess right now, I'd say probably not. You see Bryce Young's stats right here, get a good look at him, because we're going to compare him to another rookie quarterback and CJ Strouds. So as you can see right here, Bryce Young doesn't rank high whatsoever in the league, but here's Strouds. 3,800 passing yards, that's top 10 in the NFL. 21 touchdowns, that's really solid. Only five interceptions, that's impressed me a lot. And QBR 54.4, right in the middle of the pack. And in my humble opinion, these numbers don't do it any justice. He has been not just one of the best rookie quarterbacks, but he has been one of the best quarterbacks in the entire NFL. People aren't ready for that conversation. CJ Stroud is arguably a top 10 quarterback in this league right now. You can take that how you want, but I don't know how you could say otherwise. He has all the traits, man. He checks off all the boxes, and he's only going to get better from here on out. And for a rookie to be as good as he already is and read defenses the way he does, it's uncanny. But let's also not act too surprised here because C.J. Stroud and Bryce Young in the NFL draft were 1A, 1B. But I'm going to ask you a question here, a real deal serious question, and please let me know your thoughts on this down below. Is Bryce Young cooked? And what I mean when I say that is, when somebody's cooked, there's no going back. He can't do anything about it. He's cooked! Nothing is worse for a quarterback than going to the wrong franchise. And also, 
mentally, this could be bad for him. Him losing all these games and not playing to the best of his ability could be hurting his confidence. And that is the last case and scenario you want for a rookie quarterback for him to start questioning himself. Now, I don't think Bryce Young is questioning his abilities, but it happens a lot. You'll see these great quarterbacks go to the wrong team and franchise, and yeah, that's wraps. We'll probably talk more about this in the offseason, but I do want to address it now because I couldn't wait any longer. Let me know your thoughts down below. But, uh, Robin!